Okay, so sticking with images. Um, so my last video was talking about two ways of setting an image as a background. Um, in this one, I'm going to look at an often confused and confusing uh, aspect of images, and that is the three different tags that we use to represent images. Um, if you look at these three images in this grid here, apart from the caption here, they look to be the same. The first image is using just a straight IMG tag or an image tag. The next one is wrapping that in a picture tag. And then the last one is wrapping it in a figure tag. Now, the reason I say wrap is because a picture and a figure is actually a wrapper for an image, an IMG. So what happens is a lot of people think you're replacing this IMG tag with a picture or a figure. That's not the case. You still need an IMG tag to display an image. You wrap it with a picture or a figure for the different use cases for it. Now, in a nutshell, um, what a picture tag does is it allows you to have multiple sources for your image at different breakpoints, so at different screen widths. You can have different image sources. Um, the source set on an image does a similar thing, but generally with a source set, it's different crops of or different resizes of the same image. Um, whereas now, normally with a picture um, uh, uh, wrapper, you, you, you would have different images or um, that you could use. A figure tag is different again, where it actually wraps a caption and encapsulates a caption. So I'm going to show you in the actual builder what I'm talking about here. So we go to the builder and we have a look at our first image here. All I've done is added a image element and picked a image and set the size. And that's all I've done to it. Okay. Now, if I add a caption to that, so I add a custom caption, say caption. Okay. Bricks puts a caption there. If I have a look at the front end here, I've got a caption there, but if I look at the HTML for that, it's actually turned it into a figure. So Bricks has gone, hold on, that's an image, but I've got a caption, so I'm going to wrap that image in a figure tag, and I'm going to put a fig caption uh, element there for the actual caption. So this left-hand option now is technically identical to the right-hand option because we've added a caption to it. Okay, if we have a look at the, actually jump straight up to the right hand side, and I think I've done the same thing there. All I've done is used an image, and then I've set the caption to test caption. If I take that caption off, if I go back to this image here, get rid of the caption, hit save, what I end up with is just a straight image tag. So there's no wrapper, there's no figure wrapper. Okay, now I'm going to come back to describing the figure a little bit later when I'll show you something I found in, uh, with ChatGPT. When you look at the picture wrapper, so here we go, we've got our image here, that's the image, and we have our alt tag and everything that we want for that image on there. It has its default source set here, so it, when at screen widths where we haven't specified a different source, it will use these resized versions of that image, and that's just something that naturally happens in WordPress. We then have a uh, source up here, which is the extra image that we chose. So we go back to the uh, builder here and we go to that picture image. So what I've done here is there's my original image, but I've also added a second version. If we add a third version, so if I grab, say, mobile or tablet and I add, uh, I will just add those birds, hit save on that. And now I have a look at my picture. What I have is my image here. So I've got the picture wrapper. Now I've got two sources. So this source will apply at up to 767 pixels. And this one will apply at up to 991 pixels. So that one will display first. That gets a 768 pixels. And this one will display up to 991 pixels. After that, it falls back to whatever that image is there. So you can use this as a fallback. And I'll explain that shortly. So the semantic difference here is an image is a, just a raw image. A picture you use if you want different images at different 
screen widths, you would use a picture and a bigger you would use if you want to attach a caption to that. Now, there's a couple of things I'm going to look at here which make the Bricks implementation is generally the stuff that's done with Bricks is pretty damn good. One thing that's a little bit off here is that if I go to that image in the first example here, so that's just a straight image, and we add a caption to it. If I add the custom caption there and the word caption, and we have a look at the HTML for this, that's turned it into a figure, which is correct, um, and that's exactly what we'd expect. If we go to the picture version, so we've actually got fallbacks here. So we've got our main image, and then we've got some uh, variations of different breakpoints. If I add a caption to that, test caption there, what we end up with is a picture tag with our two sources, our image, and they end up with a fig caption. Now, as far as I'm aware, that's semantically incorrect. Um, the fig caption is related to the um, to a figure, basically. So the fig caption is there to describe what that figure is. So the figure is basically a way of wrapping your image with a caption and relating the two together so a screen reader knows that they're relevant to each other. Now, I'm just going to drag something across that I, that I just asked ChatGPT to explain to me. Um, what the fig caption is. I might just zoom in a little bit on that so you can read that a bit better. So basically, it is used to provide a caption or description of the content of the figure element. Okay, so in uh, that, so basically your figure would be whatever's inside that. So that would be your image or images inside of that uh, fig caption, inside, inside that figure. And the fig caption is what describes it. So a screen reader would go, hey, I've got a figure here. Here's the image. The alt tag on the image, it'll read out and they go, here's a caption that says what this is all about or describes that image. And it's semantically the correct way to do it. Uh, for accessibility, it provides you with a link between the figure and the fig caption so that it knows that they're related to each other. And from SEO, same deal. It just helps the search engines uh, understand how that's related uh, and for readability as well. So that's pretty much what ChatGPT says. That's pretty much what I read in the uh, HTML specification documents, um, where a fig caption should be inside a figure, not inside a picture. Uh, that said, I'm not sure what would happen. Let's actually, I think I know what happens. So in Bricks, what will happen in Bricks if we go back here and we've got a, uh, well, we've got a figure and we've got a caption there. If we added another source to that, so if we added the source at Tablet Portrait and add the birds there. Save that. We have a look at our figure now. It will now be a picture, not a figure. So if you add multiple sources, it's automatically going to make that a picture in bricks to account for the sources. Uh, but then you're going to have a fig caption, which does not relate to that picture because it's not a figure. Now, how screen readers deal with that, how Google and other search engines are going to deal with that, I don't know. Uh, I'm definitely not an expert on that, but according to the specifications, that is not the way that you would do this. So uh, maybe uh, you would relate it in some other way. I'm not sure. Maybe using ARIA attributes um, to relate them. Um, but that's the three different types that people get confused about. So in my ending this, in my view, if I just want to stick an image on the screen, I just use image. If there's no related content, uh, the, the, you put the alt tag on it, which describes the image. We don't need a caption. Uh, we don't need a description of that image. It's just an image. If we want a description of that image, then we make it a figure. Okay, so we wrap that image in a figure. If we want different images displayed at different breakpoints, we make it a picture. If we add a caption to it, it doesn't seem like it's semantically correct, but it still works. I mean, you could still use it in the same way. Uh, but if we're talking pure semantics, it doesn't appear to be the correct way to do it. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a better way or that's just the only way we can add a caption inside a picture um, in, in, a, in a meaningful way. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I hope that makes sense. 
Uh, and if you like this kind of thing, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thanks for listening, guys.